What is invoice verification in accounts payable? Upon receipt of invoice from the vendor, accounts payable team will conduct invoice verification before entering the invoice into the system or into the books of accounts. The invoice verification involves maybe a two-way matching approach or a three-way matching approach or a four-way matching approach. What is this two-way or three-way or four-way matching and what are the documents required for this and how this verification will be carried out by the accounts payable team? We'll discuss now. End user job point of view. This is very very important as this process will play a vital role in detection of errors and discrepancies, prevention of overpayments and in reducing fraud risks. Two-way matching. What are the documents required for two-way matching? Purchase order, vendor invoice. Now I will show one real-time example. This is purchase order of uh, one company in Qatar. Purchase order contains billing address, material delivery address, vendor address, information, document number. This is PO number. Vendor number, buyer, metal requisition number, it means MR number, in code terms, X works, date, currency, Qatar area, phone, VAT number, payment terms, payment in 60 days, CS reference, it means comparison statement reference, and user creator, who created this PO, that is his name, and project, for which project we are creating this purchase order. Now, items, here only one item is there, if you have 10 items, 10 numbers will be there, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, item 1. Material description. What is this material? Supply of OPC cement. He is supplying OPC cement. Quantity 100. Unit gross 14.25 Qatar real per piece. It means per unit 14.25 Qatar real. Total gross value 1425 Qatar real. And others scope of work. Supply of cement. Delivery terms X factory. Delivery. Metal will be collected as per site schedule. Period of delivery immediate. Payment terms 60 days credit from the date of invoice. Delivery address, contact person to whom vendor has to contact for delivery. Quotation number, this is vendor quotation number. Then total gross value, if you have given any discount, that discount. This is net amount, total amount net 1425 Qatar for this purchase order. Now instructions to vendor, if you want to give any specific instructions to vendor, you can give here. And signature of the authorized, who is authorizing this PO. And the date, this is purchase order. Now, the second document is vendor invoice. Based on this purchase order, vendor supplied his uh, material and now he submitted his invoice to the accounts payable team. This is vendor invoice he submitted to accounts payable team. What it contains? Customer ID, customer name, PO box, telephone number, date, invoice number, project for which project, reference number, this is PO reference, payment terms, due date, customer ID, project, delivery note number, item, OPC cement, quantity 100, Price 14.25, amount 14.25, less discount if any, no discount, total due 14.25. He submitted this invoice to the accounts payable team. So, two-way matching, material is uh, OPC cement. What are the required documents? Purchase order, vendor invoice. Here, purchase order, this is purchase order number and this is vendor invoice number. Quantity 100, unit currency Qataria, price 14.25, value, total value of the purchase order 14.25. Invoice submitted by vendor for the same value. This is vendor invoice and same quantity and same price, same value, same currency, same unit. Like this way, accounts payable team will check in two-way matching system. In this case, there is no discrepancy. The submitted vendor invoice exactly matched with the purchase order. So, accounts payable team will record this invoice into the system or books of accounts. For example, vendor submitted his invoice for 1525 instead of 1425. The accounts payable team will found this discrepancy with the help of two-way matching verification and they will instruct the vendor to revise and resubmit the invoice for 1425. In this way, accounts payable team will control the excess payments to vendors with the help of two-way matching. Now we see the advantage of two-way matching verification. At the same time, we have risk also with this two-way matching verification. What is the risk? May not detect discrepancies in quality and quantity. Quality point of view, if the delivered material is defective as there is no quality inspection test, we can't use that raw material in the production process. If we use that defective raw material in the production process, the output of the finished product will affect very badly. So we can't sell that product in the market resulting waste of our invested money. Quantity point of view, if vendor delivered less quantity than the purchase order quantity or the invoiced quantity, we don't have delivery check results over payments to the vendor. For example, vendor submitted his invoice for 1425 Qatar Riyadh, but he delivered only 60 bags instead of 100 bags. Actually, vendor is supposed to submit his invoice for 855 Qatar Riyadh, but he submitted invoice for 1425 Qatar Riyadh. What is the gap? 1425 minus 855. 
So 570 Katharidia you are going to pay excess. So two-way matching verification missing this quantity control. So two-way matching contains risk in terms of quantity as well as quality. If vendor supplies a less quantity than invoiced quantity results over payments to the vendor it means wasting of our money or working capital. Same way if vendor supplies a defective raw material we can't use that raw material in the production process results waste of our money or working capital. Three-way matching. Documents required for three-way matching. Purchase order, vendor invoice, GRN, goods receipt note. Vendor will deliver material to the stores along with the delivery note. Delivery note contains the item, unit and the quantity delivered to the store. Then vendor submits his invoice to the accounts payable team. The storekeeper after unloading from the truck will count physically and certifies the delivery note by signing and will return to the vendor. Storekeeper will prepare a store's receipt note, SRN, after his verification. Warehouse team will prepare GRN based on the storekeeper's store's receipt note along with a copy of the vendor's delivery note. The warehouse team will submit the GRN along with purchase order to the accounts payable team. Here we have the three documents now. Purchase order, GRN and invoice. This GRN is prepared by warehouse team based on the delivery note of the supplier as well as store's receipt note of the storekeeper. GRN contains this is GRN number and this is document date, current date and this is plant description vendor this is vendor number and vendor name purchase order number purchase group then telephone numbers then item we have one item item one description of the material supply of opc cement 100 units unit price 14.25 grn value 14.25 three way matching by the accounts payable team now we have three required documents purchase order grn vendor invoice here we have all details this is purchase order number this is grn number and vendor invoice number quantity unit currency price value in this case all are same quantity 100 100 100 price also 14.25 14.25 14.25 value also same 1425 1425 1425 in this case there is no discrepancy we can record this invoice into the system or into the books of accounts for example if vendor submitted his invoice for 1500 or vendor submits his invoice for 1300 straight away accounts payable team will reject this invoice and will send back to the vendor for resubmission in another case purchase order 1425 and vendor submitted his invoice for 1425 but in practical vendor delivered only 60 quantity and the grn prepared for 855 here we have quantity control through grn but vendor submitted his invoice for 1425 so accounts payable team will straightly reject this invoice and will send back to the vendor for resubmission with the corrected value. So we have a quantity control here in three-way matching. But still we have a risk with the three-way matching. What is the risk? May not verify the quality of the products. As there is a no inspection slip, we are not very sure about the quality of the material. Again, if the material is defective, we can't sell that our finished product in the market, resulting loss of our working capital. So with this three-way matching also, we have still one risk. Four-way matching. Documents required for four-way matching. Purchase order, vendor invoice, GRN, goods receipt note, Quality inspection slip. Four way matching by accounts payable team. Here we have all purchase order, GRN, vendor invoice, quality slip. Here everything fine. The purchase order is here. Vendor submitted his invoice for the same value. As per GRN, quantity control we have. We received 100 quantity. Invoice value matched with our GRN quantity. Now the quality risk also finished because we have quality slip. The quality also assured. Now no problem with quality. So we have quantity control as well as quality control risk no risk in this way four-way matching will work it ensures both quantity as well as quality from this picture we can observe we have different different ways for invoice verification by accounts payable team two-way matching verification three-way matching verification four-way matching verification what are the documents required for two-way matching purchase order and vendor invoice here what is the risk may not detect discrepancies in quality and quantity for three-way matching what are the documents required purchase order grn vendor invoice what is the risk associated here? May not verify the quality of the product. Four-way matching. What are the documents required for this? Purchase order, GRN, vendor invoice and inspection slip. Risk, no risk as both parts covered here. Quantity part as well as quality part. This session is part of P2P. For more details about P2P process, watch session 22. I am uploading entire P2P process. It starts with logistic configuration of creation of plan, purchase organization creation, Purchase groups creation, metals group creation, metals creation, FMM integration and ends with vendor payment. If you find interest in this video, subscribe to my channel and also like and share to others. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.